Despite nominal numbers of COVID-19 in our province, meetings were held over the weekend in Pattaya, which may result in additional closures. A full report is due from City Hall today, but for now, all remains the same as last week. The closures in Bangkok have been mirrored in numerous provinces already and saw all malls, restaurants and sports facilities added to the list of businesses to close. Food retailers around the nation and those supplying takeaway food, along with pharmacies, are allowed to operate. Our contacts at Big C and other supermarket chains tell us that supplies are plentiful, and that's obvious when you compare shops here to those in the West, where demand has far exceeded supply. Food markets, too, are full to the brim, but we can expect more sales of raw goods as people adapt to home cooking. The Social Security Board on Friday agreed to fund those registered as taxpayers under its Social Security system in the event that they lose jobs or are suspended from work. Those whose employers close down completely are entitled to 50% of salary, a maximum of 15,000 baht a month, for six months. Staff suspended from work, with the promise of jobs once trade can begin again, are entitled to the same but for 60 days initially. That, of course, will be reviewed in time. Anyone working without their employer taking social security or tax is in for a shock, though, as all applying are being vetted and must have paid into the system for at least six months. The Department of Works will list any employer found not to have paid their dues and those businesses will be investigated. In other news, border crossings in many cases are being closed, with the Malaysian border closed by the Malays already. This gives Thailand an opportunity to isolate from other countries here and operate under virtual self-containment. All crossings in Sakao, including Aranya Pratet, are closed as of last night. Any tourists who are planning to leave will want to do so quickly. With many foreign airlines cancelling flights, the time may well come when the few remaining options disappear. Bangkok Airways have added their name to the growing list of domestic and foreign airlines not flying internationally. Immigration have done a great job in welcoming those whose tourist visas expire and can offer help in extending for 30 days. It's a tourist visa only, and there are three types of extension based on qualification. But those who are here and can't fly out and were here for less than a month will find it a breeze. The Director General of the Department of Disease Control sent a request to provincial governors to make preparations for finding, tracking, monitoring and quarantining any infected people arriving in their districts and villages. Several problems with that, though, as many Thais are registered not in their city of work or residence, but their hometown. And recent reports indicate that a large percentage of people with COVID-19 don't even notice it, deemed as asymptomatic, their carriers without symptoms. For those remaining here in Pattaya, as an example, many are registered to hospitals in their home provinces. Meanwhile at home, and Chonbury and Pattier officials have listed four new cases in the past week, bringing the total of infected people in our province to ten, all in isolation. As visitor numbers hit zero, plans may be afoot to dissuade ties from arriving in the region. Traffic from Bangkok at the weekend was at an all-time low anyway. Our city is still very safe, and seeing all malls and supermarkets stocked and trading. ATMs are refilled regularly, and your debit or credit card from overseas will usually work in any of those around. For Patia, the effect is already huge, seeing the number of tourists at the lowest point ever. And whilst all malls are open at the moment, they're virtually devoid of customers anyway. This as many have started to take precautions and stay in their homes, minimising trips into heavily populated areas. As far as the bar scene goes, it's only the stupid few who open now, and all risk huge fines and licence reviews. A wander through the streets saw some girly bars with the shutters half down and a whisper to passers-by to psst, come inside. That for sure will be frowned on. And as in the past, those businesses who comply with the law are likely to report those who don't. We haven't been closed for long enough for any new levels of poverty amongst ties in the city yet. Those who were employed will have been paid a few weeks or even a week ago. But the bus stations have already been packed with ties returning to their hometowns and villages, which of course may see the virus spread. These then are tough times, we're making no bones about it. However, playing the game properly, cooperating with the authorities and adhering to changes as they're announced are all key measures that will help us get through this. No one is above the law, and no one should be stupid enough to flaunt the law changes. They're there for a reason. And with that reminder to wash your hands every 30 minutes, keep a safe distance from the person next to you and avoid crowded areas. 
and the Met Office promising highs today of 32, dropping down to 27, a clear and mostly sunny day. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.